At least 26 Marist rebels have been killed in a gun battle with Indian government forces in a remote forest, according to media reports on the latest clash in the long-running armed conflict. Police said three commandos were badly wounded in the hours-long clash on Saturday in the dense forests of Gadchiroli district, some a thousand kilometers, 620 miles east of Mumbai, the capital of Maharashtra state. At least one person has been killed and four others wounded in an explosion that hit a vehicle in Afghanistan's capital. Kabul officials said the incident on Saturday took place in Dashte Barchi, a Kabul suburb dominated by members of the mostly Shia Hazara community who for years have been targeted by ISIL affiliated fighters. Global climate talks in Glasgow, Scotland have ended with an agreement that the United Nations called both an important step and a compromise but one that some activists dismissed as a betrayal of the planet and the people. The impact approved by nearly 200 nations on Saturday won applause for keeping alive the hope of capping global warming at 1.5 degrees Celsius. 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit but disappointed many with a last-minute change that watered down the crucial language about coal. Speaking at a public talk organized by the Center for Afghanistan, Middle East and Africa, CAMEA here at the Institute of Strategic Studies, Islamabad, Muttaki shed light on the new developments in Afghanistan besides expressing views on the new balanced foreign policy and relations with Pakistan. We must not be a prisoner of the past, said Muttaki, who arrived here on Wednesday leading a delegation. Peace in Afghanistan means peace in Pakistan and vice versa. He added, we are now pursuing a balanced policy. A report released by Kashmir Media Service today said in a massive show of support for a separate homeland, six are returning in huge numbers to participate in the Khalistan referendum. It said the findings of the Khalistan referendum will be shared with the United Nations and other world bodies to seek support for separate Sikh homeland, adding Sikh referendum in the UK has nerved the BJP-led Indian government.